Hi, this is Priscilla Hotchkiss again, coming to you from the Holy Bible. I'd like to read from Ephesians chapter 6. A lot of people are familiar with it, but if you are not, um, I'd like to get you familiar with this chapter. Um, it's about putting on the whole armor of God. You know, when soldiers go out to battle, they put on their armor to protect themselves against, you know, their enemies' arrows and... Um, when they're fighting uh, to help them keep safe. So here it goes. The whole armor of God. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For who do for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual um, hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having, your, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication with all saints. And for me, the utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. That was Paul talking there. So let us put on the armor of God. And in the world we live in today, we need it. 